As the baby boomer generation ages and downsizes or passes away, around 4 million homes are anticipated to be listed for sale annually until 2032, according to a report by the Research Institute for Housing America of the Mortgage Bankers Association. This massive transition, however, is not expected to significantly impact the housing inventory or prices over the forthcoming years. The study found that this influx of homes from the elderly and deceased homeowners is likely to be absorbed by the persistent demand from an expanding population and younger households. This will ensure the housing supply remains steady and prevents an oversupply situation. Gary Engelhart, the report's author and a professor of economics at Syracuse University's Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs, explained that, with 32 million baby boomer homeowners as of 2019, this demographic is steadily becoming a larger source of existing homes for sale, contributing to approximately 4.4 million units annually. He highlighted the ability of shifting demographics and population growth to sustain demand, absorbing most of the existing inventory from older homeowners. The baby boomer generation, born between 1946 and 1964, makes up an estimated population of roughly 71 million per Statista's data. The following generations, including Gen X, born between 1965 and 1980, 65 million people. Millennials, born between 1981 and 1996, 72 million people. And Gen Z, 67 million people, are all potential home buyers, with millennials leading in home purchases currently. At present, the constrained supply of existing homes for sale, intensified by the simultaneous increase in house prices and mortgage rates, dissuades homeowners of all ages from listing their properties. First American Financial's chief economist, Mark Fleming, indicated that rising mortgage rates cool demand but also discourage existing homeowners from listing their properties, inhibiting the normalization of the housing market. The average length of home ownership hit a record high of 10.6 years in May, Fleming noted. Moreover, some industry estimates predict that by 2040, about a quarter of current owner-occupied homes will hit the market. Despite this influx, Engelhart dismissed the silver tsunami prediction made by Zillow in 2019. He argued that population aging is gradual and predictable, likening it to a slow-moving glacier rather than a sudden unpredictable tsunami. In 2019, 1.1 million homes became available for sale following the death of their owners which represented one quarter of the 4.4 million total homes that were listed by older homeowners. On an annual basis, pre-pandemic, older homeowners demanded 4.2 million units, with about 20% of these being rental properties that were previously owner-occupied. Demographic trends will change after 2032, with millennials comprising a larger share of the population. Additionally, more owner-occupied units will convert to rental properties, contributing to a slow decline in new housing growth and a slight softening in the rental market. However, Engelhardt emphasized that the effects of aging and mortality on housing inventory and prices are minor due to their slow-moving and predictable nature. He also noted that the distribution of the elderly population varies across the country, with certain areas potentially being more affected by the transition. For example, the Zillow report suggested that the South and West, with large retiree populations, could experience a greater impact from the silver tsunami. While the findings are indeed national in scope, Engelhardt also noted that the geographical distribution of the older population across the United States is far from uniform. As such, the expected influx of homes onto the market from aging baby boomers may have varying impacts in different regions. For example, the report from Zillow suggested that areas in the South and West with sizable retiree populations could see a disproportionate impact from this silver tsunami. While Engelhardt acknowledged this as a significant and relevant observation, he clarified that it was beyond the scope of the current research due to data constraints. He emphasized that such geographical considerations should not be overlooked, as they could be crucial for making accurate future projections about the supply and demand dynamics in the housing market. The conclusion from Engelhardt's research suggests that even as millions of baby boomer homes enter the market in the coming decade, the impact on housing prices should be minimal due to robust demand from younger generations. It also highlighted the transition from owner-occupied to rental properties that are likely to occur alongside this shift.